hi guys welcome to another electronic clinic video tutorial today in this video tutorial we will be making a time controlled machine using PLC the type of PLC we will be using is FATIC and that is 4D FBS so let's start the programming open win prolator click on new and click edit select the type of PLC you're using I'm using FBS 4D and MM and click OK. OK. Now let's uh, we suppose that a switch is connected to uh, X0 input of the PLC and output is connected with Y0. Double click and write command so star stop switch and over here we assume that a motor is connected so it can be instead of motor it can be anything any machine click we on the keyboard to make a branch vertical line click if and write T for the timer we'll be using T50 timer and for now we will use a 5 seconds so 50 is equal to 5 seconds that is 50 multiplied by 0.1 is equal to 5 seconds and ok later we'll change this value now click B on the keyboard and T50 it means this if the timer is not up so it's a close switch output M0 an internal coil now click U on the keyboard for the di differential up contact and write M0 so when the timer is up it will activate M0 and it will become one so this instruction will go look for it means that go look for m0 if m0 is active if there is a signal what to do write f on the keyboard and write inc increment and let's use register r6 so this will increment r0 after every five seconds so if we put uh, six, uh, 600 over here, so it means 60 seconds, so it will start uh, counting minutes. But for now, we just keep it 5 seconds. Uh, let's check whether it works or not. So click on simulation, run PLC while the switch is closed. You can see that the timer is running. You can see that after 5 seconds, it has incremented 1 now it will become two three four so the and we'll stop that okay now it's working now let's make a register my table starting r0 and fixed length I need 10 registers and click OK and OK R0 let's give it 5 so the this 5 represents minutes what we actually want to do is that when the 5 minutes are completed we want this uh, Y0 to turn off so we'll need a com comparison okay what is source a source a is r0 and source b is r6 if you can see in the table that r0 consists of 5 this value can be changed when a is equal to b then what to do high m1 so when this high gets high it will turn off so let's use it by default over here m1 so so far so far m1 is 0 keep y0 on and when it turns on this instruction will become false so it will turn off let's check PLC 
run. Press the switch. One. R zero and R six. If both are equal. <coughs> it works and but let's check okay now there's a problem that when it's uh, greater than that it starts automatically so now we have to solve this problem we have to solve this problem okay stop let's use over here also m1 let's check run let's change this value to zero okay plc now on <coughs> So actually you you know that a program is a hidden trial process. We keep checking. Yeah, done. Now you can see the timer has stopped. And it works just fine okay now stop now now this value actually a 50 now this value can now once our we know that our program is working perfectly now we can change this to 600 so now 600 equal to 60 seconds so this will actually count now r5 is equal to minutes 5 minutes now this uh, value can be changed to uh, 600 minutes or 60 minutes 30 minutes 15 minutes and this value can be then let on control from the SCADA if, if we enter or a value there that value will store in r6 and uh, in, in real time we can change the value so now how it work it will uh, give by zero on for five minutes because now the R6 will increment after every one minute. Let's change this value. Let's make it zero. And okay. Now run the PLC. And now you can see that it will increment R6 exactly after after every one minute. So in the five minutes will be completed. It will turn off this motor. But well, let's add another button and a reset button. So now make another button, we use another button X1 and name it reset function move and what is source a r1 r1 has a value of uh, 0 and the destination is basically r6 so, so the purpose of this line of instruction is that when we press the reset button the r6 becomes 0 so let's check run off and it's on
So once one minute is completed, and now you can see that the episode it's equal to one minute. Now let's see if I can reset in real time. On yeah, it's working. So this way we can also reset the value. And so it's just that when you uh, practically do the same programming in an industry for a motor. So when you turn on the motor first, you press the reset button to start retiming from zero and then you press the start or s start button to start the machine and that's it so this is a simple program which can be used in so many situations now even this program can be updated and it can be converted into hours like we can use another check so when the uh, R6 has 60 minutes uh, we made that equal to one R and then R6 is again made zero and uh, the process goes on so that's how it works if you like my video subscribe to my channel share my video with your friends and thanks for watching